Hello everyone and welcome to Talk Time Africa. Well, this is Talk Time Africa and as the host of the show, I am African. As a matter of fact, from Nigeria, which is on the west coast of Africa. Now, what we seek to do through the show is to examine issues that affect us as Africans and to present views from our perspective. Now, what I want to do now is to give you a fact about Africa. Some of you may already know this, but for those who don't, Africa is not a country, it is a continent. An amazing fact about Africa that I want to share with you is that Africa actually has 54 countries on the continent. How's that for an amazing fact? So let's get started on the show. Love is in the air, and Valentine's Day is a couple of days away. People are hitting the stores, trying to get, get gifts and goodies for their friends and for their loved ones. But today we want to examine Valentine's. What's love got to do with it? Before we do, remember we started early in the year with uh, getting healthy, wealthy, and wise. And we did examine the getting healthy and the getting wealthy part. But tonight we want to talk about the getting wise part. So to examine that with us today is Dr. Abiola Babalaki. She's a board certified adult psychiatrist and she's also a board certified child psychiatrist. She has a practice here in Atlanta, Georgia where they practice medication management and psychotherapy for children and adults. Welcome to the show, Dr. Babalaki. Thank you for having me. It's nice to have you. You look wonderful tonight. Thank you. You too. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Now, it seems most of the issues we have as uh, individuals mostly uh, determines what we dish out and what we receive in our relationships. You know, so I want us to look at uh, some elements that make up the mental well-being of an individual. If you can, make a distinction between self-image and self-esteem. Self-image is actually one's um, conception of oneself, mm -hmm. like the way you look. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, the self-esteem is something from deep inside. Mm -hmm. um, we deal with a lot of people with low self-esteem, mm -hmm. and there's some people that do have high self-esteem. Mm -hmm. So they actually go hand in hand. Okay. And um, it's very important for you to have both. Mm -hmm a good self-image and, and a typical self-esteem. So you say typical self-esteem. What is typical Typical self is actually, like we say normal. Most of the time, we don't use normal for stuff because people think, okay, so I'm not normal. But when you say typical, okay. So when you're not typical, it means you you either have a low one mm -hmm. or you have a high self-esteem. Mm -hmm. The people with high self-esteem are the grandiose people. Mm -hmm. and But we deal more with people with low self-esteem. How do you develop a healthy self-esteem? Development of a healthy self-esteem actually starts from you. It's what they instill in you mostly as a child. It actually goes with you all the way. I wanted to mention that most women that we deal with that have abuse issue have low self-esteem. And most of them want to stay in the relationship because they believe that they cannot get somebody else to actually take care of them the way they are mm -hmm. because they've actually demeaned this themselves. Mm -hmm. Some of them come to the emergency room, they're all battered, but they don't want to press charges mm -hmm. because they believe they will lose that guy. Mm -hmm. It's a shame because it happens a lot and because um, they, they're adults, there isn't much you can do. They have to come, come up with that, maybe put in a restraining order. Mm -hmm. So it, so it would take us a little bit to say how would I develop Mm. a typical self-esteem but it starts from childhood okay so then we are really a product of our environment absolutely in that in that aspect absolutely okay. now let's talk about some elements some key elements to, to developing a healthy self-esteem what would you say in your mind are some key elements to developing a healthy self-esteem one your parents mm -hmm. what they're instilling you mm -hmm. goes a long way okay your spiritual life mm -hmm. what you believe mm -hmm. As a Christian, people will say, oh, well, God knows that I'm good. He made me good. Mm -hmm. And you feel good. Okay. Three, your environment. Mm -hmm. What people say to you. People, some people take it so seriously mm -hmm. that they actually would do dangerous things if people say bad things to them. Mm -hmm. And that's where we come in, where people become suicidal mm -hmm. because, you know, someone has been bullied in school. Mm -hmm. We've had issues like that. So one has to be very careful. But... It's a long list, but the, the key ones, 
what is it put in you. Mm -hmm. Some parents just actually call their kids names from the beginning, mm -hmm. and you know it goes. A lot. That's what they've been hearing every day. Mm -hmm. Like you no good, exactly good for nothing. Good for, and that's what they'll feel. Mm -hmm. So and um, you know a, a very important piece of the spirituality really, mm -hmm. because no matter what they say about you, mm -hmm. you know what the Lord says about you. So then you have to have that consciousness. Oh yes, it's also instilled in you. Definitely, definitely. Now, Dr. Babalaki, tell me, is uh, self-image a key element to possess uh, for an individual's mental well-being? Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. How so? You know what? You have to really love yourself. Mm -hmm. There are many people out there that they don't love themselves, mm -hmm. and they expect to be loved by mm -hmm. other people, mm -hmm. and that's what they're fitting themselves with. If you love yourself, mm -hmm. it goes a very long it way. It sure does. It does. You know, it's like people just want, they, they're so empty mm -hmm. and um, they're waiting for someone to pass a comment mm -hmm. or they're waiting for somebody to give them a hug. Mm -hmm. But you see, it starts from you. Mm -hmm. So a very healthy mental well-being mm -hmm. starts from deep inside you. You're the best person to help yourself. Mm -hmm. So as a psychiatrist and psychotherapist, what would you do to help a person who has a, a not healthy well mental well-being as a psychiatrist the first thing we need to do is get to know the person mm -hmm. why are you going through this how did we get here and what can we do from here most people jump into medication and start antidepressants that's not necessarily so mm -hmm. I believe strongly in knowing the person mm -hmm. psychotherapy is very helpful it brings you to that person's level. Mm -hmm. And sometimes when people are working, we might need to get them well really fast, mm -hmm. and they might need antidepressant, but that's not the first thing. Mm -hmm. And medication is not always the answer. Mm -hmm. And it, could, it will be a process. Mm -hmm. And I tell you, your spirituality goes a long way. Mm -hmm. I have a lot of patients who do much better because one, they're praying or there's someone praying for them. Mm -hmm. Fine, they might be taking medicine, but it works even faster. So how do we uh, tie spirituality to uh, mental well-being? Oh, that's a key. Mm -hmm. You know there's somebody that actually created you, mm -hmm. and there's somebody up there who's watching over you. Mm -hmm. The Bible is what I refer to a lot, mm -hmm. and it will say to you things like, my thoughts are good, mm -hmm. says things about depression. If you read the Bible, mm -hmm. it tells you that, fine, you'll be down, but he's going to lift you up. Mm -hmm. He says things about being in the valley, it tells you you're the head and not the tail, mm -hmm. anything you touch, you prosper. So all those things, mm -hmm. if you believe in the word, mm -hmm. you know that it will work for you. Okay. Let me jump in right there and ask you a question about what you just said. Now, have you ever come across a situation where uh, you try psychotherapy in the aspect of spirituality with a person who didn't have the faith? You know, it doesn't really work if you don't have that faith. Mm -hmm because it has to come from you. If you don't believe in the Word, mm -hmm. then it's not going to work for you. Mm -hmm. okay. So where you really start is to believe in the Word. Mm -hmm. But we don't impose that on people mm -hmm. because it's not everybody that you see that's a Christian. Right. Some people have their own faith. Mm -hmm. So you really have to have that faith mm -hmm. in the Word that is being preached to you. So faith, a positive self-image, and a typical self-esteem are some of the elements you can possess to a healthy, mental well-being. So let's talk about Valentine's. What's love got to do with it? Before I go on, I have a, set, a story to tell you. It's a sad story, but it's true. I have a friend who would raise hell if she didn't get a gift on Valentine's. Sadly, that couple is no more together. Now, question is, should Valentine's set the standard for the expression of love? It shouldn't set the standard. Mm. It's now commercialized. Mm. Some people don't even know what it means. Mm -hmm. And you know what, the gift is really nothing. Mm. Guys just should have all the ways of expressing love to each other. Right. I think Valentine's is actually every day. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You can't celebrate Valentine's every day. Absolutely. Right. So Dr. Babalaki, tell me a little bit about, about your practice. Um, the private practice is located on um, 4720 Peachtree Industrial Boulevard. Mm -hmm. And it's suite 102, Norcross, Georgia, okay. 30071. You can always call 678-466-6496. That's 678-466-6496 to make an appointment. The, the key thing about the practice is we are very conservative. Mm -hmm. We try to shy away from medications as much as possible. Mm -hmm. uh, we do provide spiritual counseling. 
Christian counseling. Mm -hmm. I see children, we see adults, mm -hmm. we see families, and um, we're very open and we do care. But I want to thank you so very much for taking the time to hang out with us and give us your expert insight tonight. You're thank welcome. You so much. You're very welcome. <laughs> Jay, who is lost, has been found. Hey, now that the good doctor has gone, we have the doctor of love in the house. Love is in the air, everybody. <laughs> hey. So, Jay went out and got all of this stuff. We were talking about Valentine's being commercialized, and Jay went out and got all this stuff to share with us to show us. So, what do you have, Jay? I showed it. Actually, I actually printed up some little symbols mm -hmm. that symbolize Valentine's to a lot of people. You know, talk about this over the holidays and look for little symbols. Mm -hmm. And I have my little Cupid. You know, that uh, with his little arrow. You know, they say Cupid shoots the arrow into the heart of who he wants to date. Mm -hmm. So, but I also have my African American Cupid too. My African Cupid. Okay. So. I was going to say, any chance of an African Cupid? <laughs> so we now, got one. <laughs> I don't have any flowers on display. I do have a picture of flowers. Now you know every lady is expecting roses Love on Valentine's Day. Love the Love roses. The roses. Mm -hmm. And then for some that are lucky, some people choose Valentine's Day to propose. Oh. They give them the ring. Oh. So a lot of people out there might be proposed to this Valentine's mm -hmm. Day. Wouldn't that be wonderful? Sweet. <laughs> and then I went out. Usually on Valentine's, there's a lot of expectations out there. You know, the question is, is it the men that's supposed to give the women or the women's supposed to give the men? Mm -hmm. Or is it both? And I mm -hmm. believe it's a, a, a two-way two traffic. traffic. Okay. So we got the balloons. Everybody wants balloons. Mm -hmm. They're flying balloons in the office. You go to the office, you have balloons mm -hmm. up and everybody knows somebody's loved out there. You know, and then you want the card and one that really talks on your behalf. You know, mm -hmm. some cards, some people take the time to read them mm -hmm. so that they can do the talking mm -hmm. for them. So please remember to pick up a card. <laughs> and there's always a teddy. You know, it's either one that talks for you, says I love you. Oh, that's cute. Or just something nice and cuddly. Oh. And those go different sizes. I mm -hmm. went out to the store and you have them from mini to large. To maxi. <laughs> so it depends. <laughs> to me, a teddy's a teddy. Give me a teddy, I'd love it. Right. You know, but then we have the edibles. You know, everybody wants chocolate. Mm -hmm. So you got your box of chocolates, you know, um, depending on what your other half does like. Mm -hmm. You know, this kisses is always a big. Oh, yeah, gotta have the kisses. Gotta have the kisses. Mm -hmm. So please go out and get some kisses. Mm -hmm. For the children, you know, you even want to give your children some Valentine candy. Mm -hmm. So you got the little Skittles and see them making it in the, the side of a heart. Everything right, is red. Right. And the so kids do exchange candy at school. They do. Also. That's sweet. They yeah. do. Yeah. And then this one always gets me because these little hearts mm -hmm. have the little sand. You know, mm -hmm. it's got soulmate and it's got be mine. Oh. So if you want to send a message, you can mm -hmm. kind of playing games that day if you choose to. Mm -hmm. You can kind of put your message on a board and serve it on a platter. Mm -hmm. Just a little tip there, <laughs> you know? But that's what I saw. There's so many other things out there. If you mm -hmm. go out, it's a good time to go and buy. It's just a way, another day to show your loved ones that they're loved. Mm -hmm. That's what I believe. Thank you, Jay. And you can match it with some sayings. Remember back in the day, oh, yeah. uh -huh. you know, we had uh, people say to you when I was growing up, you know, boy, the guy that I was dating back then would you know, call me inestimable jewel, you know, li you know, things like that. Things you, or little stage, you can write something on a card, mm -hmm. you know. It's better to be loved than not to have been loved at all. Right, it's right. better to have loved lost than not have been loved at all. Mm. You know, or... What about, not, you're the only cockroach in my wardrobe? Those were the things we used to say back in the days in Africa. You're the sugar in my tea. <laughs> You're the pillow on my bed, you're the butter on my bread. You know, they had to try and come up with something romantic. Mm -hmm. you know? Just to pass that message through, yeah. I know, but the one I like the most is if you love something, set it free. Oh. If it was yours, it will it'll come, come back. back. To you. If it doesn't, it's it not never yours. was. Oh, isn't that not sweet? That Thank you, Jay. You're welcome. <laughs> so, this is the season of love, and we've been talking about love all day. But the greatest gift you can give to yourself is to love you. Then you'll be able to love others. So I say to you, enjoy the moment, live your dreams. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Good night.